Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today is a day I've been waiting for for six months. Today, I'm going to be tasting eggs that I preserved six months ago at room temperature with some of this. This is called pickling lime, also known as slaked lime or hydrated lime. It is a technique in which you take some of this lime. It's not lime related to citrus at all. It's lime short for limestone, ground limestone. And you dissolve this in water. And then you take eggs and you place them in this solution and it is a way to preserve eggs. Now this is an old fashioned technique used over a hundred years ago. There are other ways to preserve eggs including water glassing, which is this is sometimes called, but water glass actually uses a chemical called sodium silicate. It's actually used to seal concrete floors. You can buy it in big buckets at the big box hardware stores. It's the same idea. You're sealing the egg, preventing water from escaping from the egg, and also preventing anything from entering the egg. The egg is held in this little form of suspended animation. So I can't wait to get into these eggs. They're in this glass jar. Look at this. It's a dozen eggs that I preserved way back in May, May 1st, 2019. So if you want more information and specifics on how I did this, I will refer you to the video in which I started this all. So this is a little perfect segue to talk about chickens. So we have backyard chickens, we have five of them, and come springtime, the chickens are laying like mad. Every day we're consistently getting five eggs. Each chicken is laying one egg each. It is time to start collecting eggs into a clutch so they can start incubating them. All of our eggs that come from our chickens are non-fertile. They're not fertilized. They will never ever turn into a chicken because we don't have a rooster to inseminate the eggs. So the chickens still instinctively lay more eggs during this time of year. So we have five chickens, so we consistently get five eggs a day. And soon enough, we've got a whole pile of eggs. Now that we're in November, our chickens are slowing down with the egg production. So now that we're not getting very many eggs, this is a perfect time to dig into our preserved eggs. It smells sweet and almost perfumed, a bit like a bathroom air freshener, just a little bit. Just stick my hand in here and grab an egg. All right. Luckily, from what I can tell, none of them have cracked. So I'm gonna go rinse this off real quick. So here's my egg. It looks like a normal egg, but it does feel different. It's very, very smooth. If you compare it with a freshly laying egg, this has a little bit of bumps and pox on it. It has a slightly kind of matte, rough kind of finish to it. Well, this is very, very, very smooth. And I imagine that has something to do with being soaked in slaked lime for six months. There it is. And indeed, look how much the white spreads. And even the yolk has spread quite a bit. This egg was just laid within the last two days. See that? Really big difference. So both the albumin and the yolk have much more substance and they're just gelling up and standing up much taller than the six month old egg. So from this angle, you can really see the difference in height. So that is the fresh egg. Here is the preserved egg. Also, you can see how much thicker the albumin is. Look at that, compared to that. I like frying my eggs, if possible, in clarified butter. It's just super tasty. There it is. Definitely kind of flattened out, didn't it? Look at that. It smells like an egg. So I decided rather than flipping these eggs and risk breaking the yolks, I'm gonna cook these sunny side up. So get a good fry and crust on the bottom and then just cover them with a pan lid and let it kind of steam for a minute or so. I'm gonna do the same over here. Okay, so let's take this off the heat. Ooh, look at that, look at that crust. Yes. And let's get the fresh egg out of the pan. 
is there anything more perfect than an egg? I really, I don't think there is. They're beautiful, they come in their own little case. They make so many beautiful things. They're just alchemy in a shell. So when we have them side by side, it's pretty apparent which one is the preserved egg and which one is the fresh egg. Also, the yolk spread more as well. The yolk here is much taller. So the moment I've been waiting for, let's see what a six month old egg tastes like. Cut this. Look at this, this is beautiful. Gorgeous, this is what clarified butter and the right cooking temperature does. Okay, alrighty, here we go. Eat the lucky mouse. I don't taste any discernible difference. I taste salt. I use plenty of salt. I taste caramelization. I taste egg white, but no kind of any chemical or off flavors whatsoever. Let's compare it with the regular egg or fresh egg. This one too has beautiful caramelization on it. All right, here we go. Mm. When I eat them side by side, I do notice a difference. The fresh one has much more of an eggy flavor, slightly sulfurous, and the texture is different too. Fluffier, more substantial. This is a little thinner. This was actually a little crispier. So initially when I tasted the old egg, I said, that's not bad, it tastes like an egg. But then when I compared it to the fresh egg, it didn't taste as good because the fresh egg was full of flavor. It was flavorful, has a sulfurous flavor to it, not in an unpleasant way. But when I say sulfurous, I mean that signature eggy flavor. Teflon and present. I usually associate that more with the yolk than the white, but in this case, you can definitely taste the difference. So cool. Alrighty, let's try the yolk now. So I'm gonna cut this. This one got cooked a little bit more, and but it still has a nice texture to it. Alrighty, here we go. Mmm, creamy, rich. Actually, very buttery, silky texture to it too. Very nice. Alrighty, let's try that with this egg. This egg has a jellier runnier consistency because it was taller and it takes longer for a thicker thing to cook so oh this is perfect this is i love eggs gosh i love them in all different ways but here we go let's give that one a taste mm. Mm. oh my gosh fresh eggs happy hens such a delicious egg so buttery rich smooth and actually not very sulfurous at all so i just learned something so what i've always associated with eggs in terms of having a sulfurous flavor is found much more in the egg white rather than the yolk i always had this association that the yolk was the part that tasted sulfurous it's not at least in this experiment it's the white the yolk is rich and buttery and sweet and just soft and delicious now this would have been a perfectly delicious egg, but when you compare it to an egg that was laid just a couple days ago or today, there's really no comparison. And of course not. This is six months old. This egg was laid <laughs> in May. This still remains a very impressive preservation technique because this egg still tastes pretty good. Next, let's see if we can whip up a meringue using an old egg. So I've got one here that I just rinsed off and washed off. And let's try not to break the yolk. Spoke too soon. So because they're so watery, look. So that didn't work. And everyone knows when you're trying to make meringue, you can't have any yolk whatsoever in your whites. So maybe if I tap it like this. Okay, got it. Now this, because it's a new egg, I can just lift out the yolk. So if you acidify your egg white with just a few drops of lemon juice or cream of tartar, that often helps to get really nice stiff peaks. So equal amounts for both of these. It's gonna be a little noisy. To hasten things up, I'm gonna go ahead and use my mixer. Why don't we try, you know, adding some electricity because 
It doesn't work unless it's plugged in. Look at that. I actually have peaks. I'm shocked. Like, we've got stiff peaks. Here we go. There we go. Here, there just seemed to be more egg white in the egg compared to the other egg. But that also could be the fact that the fresh egg might have been a little bit larger. When we initially cracked the preserved egg, it definitely had a much runnier texture than the fresh egg. But in terms of time, they whipped up in pretty much the same amount of time. And I'm just shocked that we even got meringue from this. This is wonderful because I read somewhere that it doesn't work, but it does work. Here's my last experiment. I baked with the preserved eggs. I made one batch with the preserved eggs, one batch with fresh eggs. I made a one banana chocolate chip muffin recipe. Have you ever made banana muffins with one banana? I think it's a wonderful recipe. It's basically a typical recipe that's just been, you know, reduced by a third or half. So you can just use one banana. How many times do you just have like one like rotting banana sitting on your table and you're like, what am I going to do with that? Well, now you can just make some muffins super quick, super easy. You don't have to worry about having too many muffins because you only have one banana. So you can't have too many. So take one large ripe banana and smoosh it all up. Then add one quarter cup of sugar and one egg white. Then I added one tablespoon plus two tablespoons of vegetable oil, half cup of flour, half teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, an eighth teaspoon of salt, eighth teaspoon of cinnamon, and one third of a cup of chocolate chips. Mix this all together. I made a little mini version, so I scooped it into greased muffin tins and baked at 350 degrees for about six to eight minutes or until a skewer comes out clean. They look pretty identical. They browned evenly. They seem to rise the same amount. Bottoms look the same. This is the preserved egg. And here is the standard egg. No visual difference in terms of the crumb. Let's give them a taste. Here we go. Mm -mm. Mm. Have you ever had chocolate chips in your banana muffins, banana bread? Ugh. If you can have chocolate and if you like it, do it. It's the best. Mm -hmm. Perfectly delicious banana chocolate chip muffin. Now, let's compare that to one that was made with a regular egg and see if I notice any difference in texture or flavor. Here we go. No, I can't notice any difference in flavor or texture. It tastes exactly the same to me. Wonderful. So I think of all the three applications I tested today, I would say the baking is the most successful. I noticed no difference whatsoever. Not in, in terms of the results or in the flavor. Cooking an egg sunny side up, I noticed a big difference side by side, but if you didn't have the fresh egg to compare it with, I think you'd be perfectly happy with a preserved egg. And I was very pleased and tickled to see that you can still whip up a beautiful meringue with a six month old preserved egg. So there you have it, eggs that have been preserved using pickling lime, slaked lime, hydrated lime, really great technique if you've got a lot of eggs. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. What is this? Why?